Hey everybody, Adam Markfeld with Paracore. In today's video, I'm gonna show you this really cool trick that I stumbled across with LinkedIn, where you can actually see what businesses, what companies are visiting your website. So visiting your main website, what businesses are visiting you without them ever even contacting you because you're connecting their activity with their LinkedIn profile. So it's pretty cool. It was something that I found really interesting when I stumbled across it, and so I wanted to share it with you, all right? So uh, one thing that you do need is you do need an ad account with LinkedIn. You don't actually need to be running ads, but you need an ad account because you're installing the pixel tag on your website. So first things first, here we are on my LinkedIn account, and I'm gonna hit this advertise guy here. If this isn't here. I think they just brought it out. I think it's sometimes here in work. Um, yeah, anyway, I think this used to be in work, so sometimes it's in there. So you hit advertise, you're gonna to go to this page, and then you're gonna click create ad, and it's gonna show you all the ad accounts that are available to you. Now, you'll just need to create an ad account if you don't already have one. If you do have one, you're gonna see essentially an interface like this. This is um, Paracore's ad account with, um, let's do like today, okay? So we're not currently running a lot on the LinkedIn ad side. So uh, first things first is you need a LinkedIn pixel installed on your website or excuse me, an insight tag, they don't call it a pixel. So you're gonna to go to account assets here, you're gonna hit insight tag, and you're gonna add your domain. So ours is paracore.com, this is my developer's domain, he uses Gosu, I don't know what that means. And then um, this is something else. I don't even actually know what that is. That's probably GTM, I don't know, Google Tag Manager, I'm not sure what that's for. Hit add domain, you can put in your domain, boom, boom. So like we would just do paracore.com as a root level domain, hit save, and then authenticates that domain to actually run your tag. So if someone else like stole your tag and put it on their website, uh, it wouldn't work because the domain's not authenticated. So if we head over to manage insights tag, and then, so you're gonna do that, you're gonna add the tag, or excuse me, add the domain, and then you need to put the tag on your website. So I'm gonna do C tag. You know, these different options here. So I will install the tag myself. I will send the tag to a developer. So if I wanna install it, I'm gonna copy this guy, click to copy, and then it says below your website's global footer, right above the closing HTML, so you're putting it at the bottom of the website so it loads after most of the page is rendered. If you wanna send it to a developer, you can um, click below to send the tag and detail instructions to the email account associated with your LinkedIn profile, and then you forward it to your developer. So I've never actually done that, but if I click this, it'll send me the tag instructions and I would forward it to a developer. And then if you're doing Tag Manager, they have all these different Tag Managers, copy your LinkedIn Partner ID and go to Tag Manager you wanna use. Google Tag Manager is the one that we use. I've never used any of these other ones, uh, but we use Google. So that's how you would install the tags. So um, these are just like any other tags. I'm not gonna go into like, I'm not gonna show you like how it's actually installed on your website. Um, there's a billion other videos for that, uh, but this is where you get the tagging code and these are your three different options. I'm gonna close, we already have ours installed. All right, so now you have your tag. Last signal received 10 minutes ago, great. Um, so you can see that the tag is working and tracking activity, and that's it. So we're running website traffic as like a retargeting, uh, as a retargeting, um, we're running, we're, we're tracking website traffic for a retargeting campaign, right? So now I'm gonna hit this uh, website demographics link up here, and this is really cool. So this shows you Gain insights about your website audience with professional data from LinkedIn. Demographic metrics are approximate to protect members' privacy. So basically what this is saying is um, in this range, there's been 1,669 page views and this website audience is retargeting. And um, I'm not gonna compare it. And we're displaying the company. So in April, these are the companies that visited the website, our website. Now you can change this here. I think it actually starts with job function. It defaults to job function. So it's like, all right, great, like the industries that are interested in your business are arts and design, business development, marketing support. So these are the industries that people are in that are visiting your website that are linked in to, that are linked up with a LinkedIn profile. So I visit my website, I am in the marketing field. Uh, the insights tag fires, it shows that I, Adam, have visited this website and therefore a person with a marketing industry is associated with the activity on the website. And that happens with everybody. So. Everybody that visits my website, that's uh, uh, they probably have to be signed into LinkedIn, I'm not 100% sure about that, but is associated with LinkedIn, has their profile built out. It's gonna attach the industry to that traffic and then it's gonna show me what industries are most prevalent. So, you know, for us, I'm kind of surprised arts and design is here, um, business development, but I mean, I, I'm sure a lot of people are like prospecting our website to sell us something, we get a lot of solicitation. 
uh, marketing, support, sales, operations, blah, blah, blah. Um, but the one that's, and then we have like job title. So this is cool. Like, I guess a lot of digital designers are on our website. I'm not sure why. Uh, founders. So we work typically with owners or marketing professionals. So digital marketing ma manager, digital specialist, director, managing director. So like, if you're like a managing director um, of marketing or something, I guess that's probably where that's coming in because we typically tend to work with senior level marketers and owners. So you see a lot of that here too. Uh, so I'm going to head over to company. Oh, I said industry before. This is job function. Sorry, job function. Industry is here. Sorry, duh. Industry, marketing, advertising. A lot of people with marketing, advertising hitting our website. Sorry about that. Now, company is the interesting one. So this shows me what companies are visiting my website. So I'm not familiar with West Medical Limited, but they might be a lead. Um, Forward Creative. So I'm just going to Google Forward Creative. I don't really know who they are. Forward Creative. Design for, it might be Forward Creatives. Uh, but these people have been visiting my site. Ford Creative Machine. I don't know. Maybe it's that. Maybe it's not. Let's see if I can find West Medical. Here it is right here on LinkedIn. So I'm going to click this guy. And now I'm at West Medical. So I don't know who these people are, but there's two employees. I'm going to click that. And now I know that these two people have been visiting my website. So that's cool. Um, you know, the, you know, so 3.83%, I mean, they visited me a decent number of times. Um, Arvo Partners, you know, I don't know who that is. Arvo Partners, be the next e-commerce success story. So these guys are visiting my website. Um, this is like a marketing company, I'm pretty sure. Services to supercharge your results, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so I mean, these guys like do what we do. Um, so we have Yelp because we're starting to run out more Yelp, Arizona Culinary Institute, Signa Marketing, Cle works for me. Uh, you know, just a bunch of other people. So tons of people, right? So CallRail, like we work with them a lot. Uh, but, the, but it's really interesting because now you can just kind of look back through the months and basically see like, all right, like who is, who's visiting my site and what are they doing? And why are they visiting? So we have like wide time ranges here. And then if I go to just like a week, let's do this. Now it's 275 page views. And now this gets more narrow, right? So before, so let's check this out, okay? So before we have a month and, and they only show you a limited number of results. So here it's 1200 page views and they show you, I don't know how many that is, probably 30 or something, 40. So we have like 40, right? Now, so like the top ones are, so we have like digital marketing boost, metric fuel, boost leads, TTC, T-Tech. So now I'm gonna go, all right, let's just do a week. And so, what the heck, whatever. All right, fine. Yeah, so now we have different results here, right? So Boost Leads, AIW, Contractor, EO, Brady Corporation. I mean, I don't, I don't know who a lot of these people are, but what I could do is if they seem like real leads, right? So let's go back a little bit more recent. So it is May 31st. I just wanna go like, I don't know, who's here in the last five days? Ah, stop it. Oh, that's why. Dude, whatever. All right, there we go. Update. I think this will be good. Yeah, so in the last five days, um, brunch work. I don't know what they do. Matchback. I don't know what they do. Drift. We just signed up for a Drift Partnership Program. Lincoln Journal Star. International Cruise and Excursions. That's a local company here. Interact Media. Like, these are all people that I could probably, um, you know, like Landmark Recovery. They're probably like a recovery facility. Did I type Landmark Recovery? Yeah, I did. Landmark Recovery, Premier Drug and Alcohol Rehab Center. So like this company um, visited my website, I'm gonna call them today because they have some sort of interest in what I do, right? Um, and then, yeah, so I mean, like this is really interesting. You could do this every single week or just do it once a month and filter by week. And I'm gonna filter this down even lower. I haven't ever done this before, but let's go to like two days. Let's see what happens. Maybe it won't be enough traffic. Yeah, it's not really enough traffic. Uh, but if I do, you know, I kick this over to five days. So now I'm in a different set. Now I have ASAP. This guy actually contacted me. You know, this was a lead that came came through and I, um, 
Uh, he, he needed some website help, so it wasn't helpful. Um, you know, Dr. Disability, like, I don't know who these people are, but AZ Locksmith, I mean, these are like real leads and real people. You know, Zero Talk, they're a local company here. Uh, someone from Typeform, that's pretty cool. All right, so uh, that's an interesting tactic if you're looking for lead gen or who's visiting your website, you know, without them even contacting you. These people are not contacting me, they're just visiting the website. And that's how I would research them. So I wanted to kind of do that, go through those things um, to show you how I would, how I would, um, how I would do it. You know, you have location. I don't know if these things matter, but you have a few different options here um, that, that you can also look at. But I think the company title is really the most interesting. I'm gonna start calling some of the people that are on there because I don't really do it myself. I should. I'd say it's awesome and then I just don't call them. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you get some value out of this. Let me know if you use it and you like get a lead or a client or something, that would be amazing. It'd be really cool to hear that because uh, I, I, like nobody I've ever talked to knows about this, so it's a pretty cool tactic. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, as always, see you in the next video.